Every animal has its own particular look and attitude. Some are, well, ferocious. Others are seemingly minimal in their size, muscle, and overall power. Why, just look at this old boy. He surely must be digging for some kind of hidden treasure. Some pirate's gold, perhaps? Badgers may not have the power of a lion, but they do have the strength to dig. What they lack in size, they make up for in determination and upper body strength. In fact, I'm sure a badger could bench press at least two large pails of dirt, maybe more. Badgers dig very complex tunnel systems. Depending on where you live, they can be called a badger set, a burrow, or perhaps a den. These sets can have a multitude of dens and entrances, as deep down as 10 feet below the surface, and as long as 30 feet in length. Impressive. And sure, they can show their teeth, long claws, and grunt when they have to, but they would much rather slip into one of their badger holes, where they can take a nap, dig for grubs, and hunt rodents, all from the comfort of their subterranean palace. Join us now as we take a look at badgers, the small but fierce, tunnel-digging, striped face, weasel-like member of the Mustelidae family. What do badgers look like? Badgers are commonly recognized for their general looks out in the wilderness. They have a unique collection of characteristics that make them an interesting animal to observe in the wild. They are relatively small animals with an average weight of only around 20 pounds. They're about 30 inches in length and have a small furry tail, with a black and white striped face and dark gray coat covering the rest of their body. It seems unlikely that you'd mistake badgers for any other animal in the wilderness. They have short and stocky legs, and sharp teeth that allow them to capture prey. There is a white stripe from their nose to the back of their necks. Badgers rely on their instincts to effectively survive in the wild. They are equipped with sharp claws that allow them to dig and hunt their preferred or available diet. They can be found in various grassland environments across North America. Is it rare to see a badger? Badgers tend to be solitary animals. They keep to themselves, they hunt in places where there is little to no human activity, and they try to avoid predators by blending into their surroundings. You are more likely to see a badger crossing the road than you are just out in the wilderness. However, with populations on the rise in places like the UK, badgers have also been coming closer to human activity and can be spotted in the wild if you know what you are looking for. These guys are pretty small, so you have to keep an eye out for them or be lucky enough to see one. In fact, in the UK, there is actually a hobby called badger watching. The region of a badger's body that stands out the most is its head. You will notice the familiar black and white striped pattern that looks similar to a skunk in ways. The black striped patterns on their face make them easy to identify. However, there is also a white stripe that starts at the tip of their nose and goes all the way to the back of their neck and shoulders. Let's take a moment to learn a bit more about a badger's average size. Male badgers can be about 30 inches long, while females are slightly smaller on average. Badgers commonly weigh between 15 and 20 pounds, but can exceed that weight if they have a healthy diet. One of the really interesting things about badgers is they can be quite a bit tougher than they look. Their reduced size may make them appear less intimidating, but that doesn't mean that they can't still put up quite a fight when the time comes. In most cases, though, badgers want no confrontation, and it remains likely that they will do anything in their power to avoid engaging with a potential conflict. It's not believed that badgers can change color on demand like other animals in the wilderness. They are primarily a brown and grayish animal with heads that have a black and white pattern that is highly noticeable. They have a dense coat on the lower parts of their body, and they can appear to be darker. Badgers can certainly adapt to seasonal weather conditions, but this doesn't necessarily mean that they change colors. Some badgers use their color to their advantage, and many of them are capable of hiding in their environment to stay away from potential nearby predators. 
A majority of badgers have dark tinted eyes with pupils that are dark black. In some cases, badgers can have an alternate eye color, but this is extremely rare. Badgers don't necessarily have vibrant eye color, and badger cubs don't even open their eyes until around the sixth week. Because their eyes are so dark, they appear to be black from a distance. This can sometimes be cause for an alarm when a striped face with little black eyes pops up. No need for alarm though, badgers usually do not attack humans. What color is a badger's nose? Badgers have a dark nose. They rely heavily on their sense of smell, but there's nothing too specific about the way that their nose appears to humans. Their noses are large in comparison with overall body size. They look similar to a dog's nose. Because they rely on scents from their nose, you may see them with their nose in an upwards position even. What color is a badger's tail? A large number of badgers out in the wilderness have a dark gray or black tail. The tail is about 5 inches in length, and usually doesn't have any patterns on it that would differ from their lower body. In addition to having a dark tail, badgers are also known for having dark claws. There are a lot of different things to remember when trying to analyze the appearance of a badger. Their size, colors, and other appearances can provide important clues to you if you are trying to observe badgers in the wilderness. Not all badgers look exactly the same, but most of them can be identified based on their head color patterns and general appearance. Where do badgers live? Because everyone lives somewhere, wouldn't you agree? Take our American friend, for example. We've got to know him a little, so let's call him Bob. He lives in regions that are abundant with small rodents and mammals. This is great for Bob, because hunting for food in the wild can be a dangerous and, well, tedious task. Bob is able to dig down into the ground where he can find a multitude of local delights. Why risk going out into a world of predators when you can simply dig out and, well, dine in? We are going to explore all of the different locations where you might find a badger. Badgers currently have a stable population in North America and Europe. They prefer grasslands, so most badgers will be found in that type of region. From a territorial perspective, badgers can be found all over the North American continent. Starting from the west coast and working eastbound, badgers can be found in California, Oregon, and Idaho. They are found in all of the western states and can even be found as far east as Wisconsin, Michigan, and Ohio. Badgers can also be found in some of the southern regions of Canada. Europe also has a very large badger population. In fact, we'll meet Bob's European cousin in just a little while. There are hundreds of thousands of badgers currently existing on the European continent. If you go beyond territory and take a look at the types of environments that a badger prefers to live in, then you'll know as we've mentioned that they like grasslands that have a ton of adjacent rodents to support their diet. Let's talk a little bit about how a badger establishes a local territory. On average, they establish a local territory that is approximately 175 acres in size. This is also known as their home range. They can be smaller or larger depending on local conditions, and badgers can expand their territory when they are looking for a mate. They look for regions within their territory where they can successfully hunt. Badgers love to dig for rodents, and may look specifically for areas that have a prosperous amount of rodents, including gophers and other similar prey. It's important to remember that badgers are generally considered to be nocturnal, which means that they can be found roaming the wilderness at night. Some badgers are willing to roam during the daytime if they do not feel threatened in their environment. Like most wild animals, badgers want to live in regions that give them the best chance for survival. They need to have a sufficient diet while also managing their local predatorial risks and environmental hazards. Badgers have the natural attributes to balance all of these important factors, and the simple solution usually leads to the grassland environments that are across North America. Badgers usually have a home set or den where they spend a lot of their time. 
However, the other sets can be found nearby, within their territory and home range. The badgers also sleep in these tunnels. They will bring in dried grass and straw to make bedding somewhere inside of the set. Wisconsin is about as far east in North America that you can go and still find a badger, although some may now exist even further east and regional habitats change. One interesting fact that many may not know is that Wisconsin named the badger as their official state animal back in the 1950s. In addition, badgers are not allowed to be hunted in Wisconsin. Similar protection towards badgers is not provided in many of the other states. Interestingly, Badgers aren't believed to have a very significant portion of their population in Wisconsin, yet the state still has a significant historical connection with them. Are badgers adaptable to their environments? This is an important question to ask when evaluating nearly any type of animal that lives in the wilderness. Badgers are capable of adapting to their environment, but they do have preferences. They generally want to live in an environment that is favorable to their preferred diet. Badgers love eating rodents, but will occasionally settle for insects and even birds. They have traits that are favorable to digging, which is why they spend so much time digging for their next meal. It's nearly impossible to determine exactly which state has the largest local badger population, but there are some ways to make this calculation. It is well documented that badgers primarily live in the Great Plains of the North American continent. This means that states like Texas and Nebraska could be at the top of the list. Based on the fact that Texas is the second largest state in the United States, it seems likely that a plurality of America's badger population would live in the Lone Star State. They migrate based on local conditions, and as mentioned, will make every effort to find dry grasslands with a local rodent population. As you've seen, badgers are fascinating wild animals that have several survival instincts that allow them to prosper for many years. They are known for being resilient and tenacious, which happens to be the two important traits for surviving in the wilderness, wherever they may live. Now, let's take a moment to meet American Bob's European cousin, Harry. Harry the Badger. Notice the difference of the stripes on the face. When compared to Bob, Harry has a much cleaner and refined look. He looks like he may go to a pub later, have a sensible dinner, and maybe smoke a cigar. Harry may have a different hairstyle. However, he still has many of the same behaviors as his American cousin. They both prey on small mammals. They both live in badger sets. And apparently, they both know how to have a good time. Now that we know more about where a badger lives, let's take a closer look at their dens, also known as badger sets. Badger dens provide protection and security from other hazards in the wilderness. These underground dens are similar to shelters. They serve as an underground layer of protection with multiple entrances and exits. Another term that can be used to describe a badger den is a set. They are usually constructed with the advanced digging skills that badgers naturally develop as they grow older. There are usually multiple entrances and exits, so that badgers can roam around into various parts of their local territory. Badger sets are constructed for several reasons. Badgers use them to find food underground, but also to have some protection from the wilderness. Considering that most badger sets are usually combined into an underground network of tunnels, you might be surprised at how large these tunnels can actually be. On average, these tunnels can be up to 10 feet deep and three times longer. Tunnels exceeding 30 feet are not uncommon, but sometimes badgers prefer to build smaller dens in multiple locations within their territory. One thing that badgers have to consider when digging their den in their set is the concept of flooding from a rainstorm. If not constructed properly, badgers can get soaked or even drown. This is one of the reasons that the main badger den chamber is usually constructed higher than the tunnel system, so that flooding is unlikely. How to identify a badger den? As gross as it may sound, badgers use dung and scat to mark their territory, like most animals. This means that they could mark their den too. Dark green, brown, or gray markings near the entrance of a badger den will pretty much give it away and make it easy to identify. 
If you can see these markings near a location where you think a badger has been digging tunnels, then you're probably right to assume that you've stumbled across a badger den. There are other signs to look for as well, specifically the shape of the entrance. Just be sure not to mix up a badger den with a den from some other animal. The entrances can look very similar, and it wouldn't be all that hard to confuse the den with the home of some other unsuspecting creature. It's not uncommon for badgers to have multiple dens and sets within their home range. Badgers will usually travel between each of their dens, and they can have up to a dozen dens or sets at the same time in their region. You may be wondering if multiple badgers can live in the same set. Badgers usually prefer to remain alone in their den, but sometimes multiple badgers do live in the same den and form a group. In fact, a group of badgers is called a clan, a badger clan. It can take weeks, months, and even years for a badger to build a set. The amount of time depends on how sophisticated the tunnel system may be. Having multiple badgers contribute to digging and excavating the tunnel system can speed up the process, but in most cases, badgers prefer to work by themselves. In-depth badger sets can be more than 1,000 feet in length per tunnel and are capable of having multiple entrances and exits. Badgers can spend a significant portion of their lives building and living within these tunnel systems. Understanding the importance of a badger set can help you understand portions of their lifestyle. Why take Harry here? He lives a moderately active lifestyle. He tries to be as social as one can. I'm sure Harry has gone on many midnight strolls with some lucky sow. Perhaps they dipped their toes in a puddle of water drank from a fresh spring. Ah, the good life. Anyway, I digress. A den for a badger can provide safety and allow them to transport themselves underground without being exposed to potential predators on the surface. This certainly has benefits, including survival, hunting, and moving efficiently within their environment. Now, let us move on to the curious case of Eddie and the Badger. Eddie was a trade worker, driving to work, day in and day out as one does. Seeing all of the wildlife flutter by as his automobile zoomed through the landscape. Eddie has always fancied seeing a badger, but never got the chance until this fateful day. As he was driving down the road, coming upon a bend where he had seen many pheasants in the past, Across the road went a badger scuttering by. Eddie pulled to the side, got out, and chased after the little furry creature, hoping to get a glimpse of the little animal that he had felt so fond for. After some time of looking with no luck, he decided he should get back to the car, and as he was walking, he was startled to see. The badger was there, with his teeth out, snarling, and looking at poor old Eddie like he was going to attack viciously. Obviously, Eddie withdrew and returned to his car. Eddie and I talk frequently about his encounter with the badger. Even though it was quite frightful, he is still fond of badgers to this day. Are Badgers Dangerous? Badgers are found all over North America's continent and are not generally considered to be dangerous to humans. However, this doesn't mean you should come face to face with one like our friend Eddie. Try to observe them from a distance. Badgers can be dangerous to small household pets that may be roaming around your backyard. If you think a wild animal such as a badger is around your home, then you should keep your pet secure. While most badgers may not be dangerous to humans, there are some important things to remember if you believe that you may live in a region where badgers exist. It is unlikely that a badger would ever attempt to attack a human. Most of them are too fearful of even engaging with a human and would most likely be too reluctant to make any sort of contact. This generally means that they are not a threat to humans, but there may always be an exception so remain cautious. If you have any household pets that go outside, then there's probably a high chance that a badger could present a threat to a small domestic dog or cat. Just like most animals that you'd find out in the wilderness, badgers will defend themselves and do what they have to to survive. 
If a badger close to you feels that it's in danger, then you may expect to receive retaliation. Try to keep your distance if you spot a badger. Even if you want to watch it, do not approach it. If approached, the badger may growl, snarl, and possibly give off a musty odor. Are badgers skilled hunters? They love to eat gophers, mice, and squirrels, but their diet is not limited to just these selections. Badgers can also be opportunistic and will attack other animals' babies. If a parent of an animal like a fox is not around, then the badger may take advantage of that situation and hunt the wee little babies. A badger's average lifespan could provide some indirect information about their capabilities in the wilderness. They generally have a lifespan of a decade, but this can vary depending on their region. Some of the oldest badgers ever observed in the wilderness were 14 years old, with only a few rare examples of badgers that have been thought to be older. Badgers are tenacious. They rely on their digging skills and powerful legs that help them survive in the wilderness. Females generally start mating after reaching a full year of age, and they can go on to live successful lives in grassland regions for around a decade. Did you know that badgers may hunt with other animals? Badgers have been observed hunting with animals such as coyotes. Badgers and coyotes have very different skill sets, but by working together, they are both more likely to hunt their prey successfully. It doesn't happen very often, but badgers are certainly willing to hunt with other animals, if it means that they may have an opportunity at an easy meal. Most badgers prefer to remain alone and will not look for assistance from any animals in the wilderness. There are so many different factors to consider when analyzing the threat levels of a badger in the wilderness. The best thing is to remember that you should never underestimate a badger. They are intelligent and strong. They're excellent hunters and enjoy eating a wide variety of animals. Badgers will spend most of their lives in a similar routine, and they currently have a stable population. So, here we are at the end of this journey. We have learned many things about badgers along the way. We got to meet Bob, the American badger, as well as Harry, his European cousin. We learned that a badger's den is called a set, that badgers can live in small numbers, or they can live in a large community. Next time you're out in nature, keep a watchful eye, just as Eddie did. And who knows? You may just meet Bob, Bob the Badger. Join us next time on Assorted Animals Wildlife Series.